somewhere over there is Mount Fuji, but hey man, this is Robbie. I am here at a special place today. Another place that a lot of the car enthusiasts would be super excited to come and check out. And since there are traveling restrictions, I figured that I'd swing by. It's the end of the year and they were really nice enough for me to come by to just kind of look around and uh, take a, you know, a small peek at their facility. I am at, it's, it might be small, but I'm here at HKS. <laughs> There's also somebody else that I wanted to introduce you to. Who remembers this guy? <laughs> Alright, so this is Masuda, aka Eminem. Uh, he used to be Daigo's mechanic when he was traveling FD USA, so I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that still remember him. なんでこんなテンションなんで。<笑><笑><笑> はい、<笑><笑> All right, so the first thing I get to see is this is HKS demo car, the new GR86. This one's not going to auto Sloans, but I believe it has the HKS Hypermax suspension. And I believe some of the bits and pieces of the body kit is uh, made by HKS, so it's pretty nice. Um, I'm actually starting to like these cars more and more after these uh, manufacturers are you know, building parts for them. So pretty cool car. Uh, I'm pretty sure some of you are questioning what building is what because they do have a few warehouses lined up. Warehouse. ああ、サービスビューとか。はいはいはいはいはい。制度。の製造工場と製造の事務所があって、こっち開発の事務所と開発ピット。はいはいはい。こっちがサスペンションのファクトリーと、上があの僕たちの事務所営業の。はいはい
beautiful cars. This was at the Auto Sloan two years ago and this car got the Grand Prix at the Auto Sloan. Everybody's probably familiar with the Supras now because it's been a couple years since it's been out. But pretty much this is like the first batch that was made. I mean, this thing looks sick. And I'm pretty sure it's because it's got the, you know, finishing touches by HKS and the body kit and the wheels and all that other stuff too. But um, yeah, this thing is amazing. Oh, okay. Man, this is a very, very clean build. The 2J sits in there just like it's stock. I know the stock engine is also a, a BMW motor, but it's the six cylinder. And uh, yeah, it's almost like a replacement of that motor. So car looks really clean. Yeah, so this is the Drift 86 that HKS built uh, with Fat5 Racing. I think this car is like super lightweight. I think it's like cut up where there's nothing. Yeah, there's like uh, absolutely nothing left on the car. But this is a demo car. Um, so it was like a freestyle vehicle where they're like, hey, just, just make this car, make it look cool, um, make it look crazy. Yeah, so like everything's gutted out. Super clean built and it's also a beast because it only weighs probably less than a thousand kilograms or something so that's like 2200 pounds or something that's pretty crazy and this is cool because this car was built and these are the names of the people that actually had something to do with um, the build of the car and stuff like that so that's pretty awesome that they have that all right so just as I said there's nothing there's nothing here it's like hey <laughs> Everything's cut up. It's like a semi pipe frame in the front, but I mean it works so it's super lightweight. Unbelievably this is a 2JZ, the NAT style. The block and everything is obviously done where it's, you know, strong enough to withhold the power. Yeah, so this thing makes probably somewhere around 800 to 1000 horsepower, so. Oh wait, and also before I said, you know, before I forget, what am I like, Jinbu carbon? GT1000 Plus is what this car is called. It's obviously a GTR, but what is special about it is. What? <laughs> oh my god. え、すげえ。え、先プラスっていうからもう千馬力以上出てるってことでしょ。わあ。すげえ。え、でもこれは作って何年ぐらい?もうだいぶ経ちますね。10年。え、そんなに ?何ですか?GTR だって2000円と
but I'm pretty sure it's pretty strong. But scuba there, how many degrees? Forty-nine seconds. Forty-nine seconds in scuba. <laughs> That's pretty fast. I remember a long time ago when everybody was fighting to break a minute, and now it's like a minute. That's like a stock car. You could just uh, break fifty second now. And now they're in their forties. So. Yeah, so this doesn't even have like an engine swap in it. Well, it's a 2.5 liter of opposite opposed engine that the Hachiroku's come in. Um, but yeah, with that engine, the build, I'm pretty sure it's really lightweight, but it ran a 49 second at Scuba. So that's pretty crazy. So they were just explaining to me this car, this little cute little hatchback they have is a Suzuki Swift. Um, they were going for the front wheel drive record yeah, it's scuba. So as you can see, all this is like pretty much most of it's carbon. But what's cool about this car is um, it's very different from everything else because it's not like a, oh, can you drive right-hand drive? Can you drive a left-hand drive? No, this is a center drive. So since it's a front-wheel drive, um, the tunnel in the middle is uh, minimal. So they have the pedal box sitting in the middle, steering wheel is in the middle, and their shifter is on a linkage and it's uh, moved to the side. But uh, that's a pretty crazy idea um, for having that where the balance of the car probably means a lot as well when you're doing time attack. So instead of having a right-hand drive or left-hand drive, they just decided to make it a center drive. So right now they have a Swift engine in it with the turbo and everything. So this is a Suzuki Swift motor. It's got a, a bolt-on turbo on it. Oh, interesting. So yeah, that's what it has in it now. But I guess previously when they did the time attack, it had an Evo motor in it. Yeah, so still have front wheel drive though. Uh, so that's pretty cool. All right, so what's really special about this uh, Evo is it's an evo but um it's not just a normal evo but it's got a buy fuel system in it the ct230r ngv natural gas vehicle so it's got a mixture of it's not just fuel but it's a mixture of some kind of um gas as well um like a lpg or you know something in that sort so uh, this is something that they were using as testing and uh trying to come up with something new that's pretty cool. I, I really like it um, when manufacturers go on and, you know, trying to invent uh, new things is uh, something that we all need and the car uh, community needs a, as well, so. All right, moving along, I am going to another place. I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, people have been here before um, and filmed, but yeah, going to the museum part. I'm excited. What's the going What do you want? So this is the, the hanger part of an exhaust. So they made that, that's pretty cool. It's <laughs> going All right, so we are here in the HKS Museum. ここにはすごいHKSのレキシがいっぱいありますが。HKSっていうのは3つのファウンダーと創業の人の名前の頭文字を3つ取ってます。H が先代社長の長谷川博之社長の H。ああ、シグマ、あ、それも聞いたことある。で、K、N、H、違う。北側、北側、っていうあのうちの専務という方の名前の頭文字を3つ取って、HKS になってます。じゃあ、リバーリバーシグマって感じですね。じゃあ、も
エンジン作ったりですとか、まあ、ターボのキットを開発したりとかっていうのをじゃあ今はその車の関係以外では何か携わってるんですかね建物の、うんえー、と耐震用のダンパーとか、はいはいはいはい、あとはジェットスキーそれの、えー、とスーパーチャージャーへーこれはいあ本当だこれがジェットスキーのマリンレース用のエンジンへえもう320馬力 1.8 リッターいいじゃないですかそれあの黄色いのってなんかなんですかあの黄色い車はヨーロッパのはいえ車ベースヨーロッパでコンプリートカーとして売ろうとするやつがあったと思うへえへえあじゃあエンジンも自社のエンジンってことそうですねはいはいはいすげえんかちょっとねはいはいはいまあデモカーコンセプトパーか一番有名なのゼロアールここにトラックに乗ってますああはいはいはいこ、はい、れがえっ、ー、と<笑> HKS のまあ、えー、コンプリートカーああ本当だ10代、はい、まあ今そういえばさっきもあれだったけどこの壁に歴史が全部書いてあるんですねこれすごいおしゃれですね俺のショップでも壁に歴史書こうかなそしたらね一枚で終わっちゃうかもしれない一<笑>枚ぐらいで終わっちゃうかもしれないすごいエチケースヨーロッパとかすげえなあれなぜか二輪がありますけどこれなんですか二輪これはですねあのオートレースご存知ですか、はいはい、あのオーバルのコースをぐるぐるはいはいはいはいあれのオートレースでエチケースが供給していたエンジンが乗ってる車両すげえ本当にもうまあ四輪のイメージが大きいけどこういう部分にも HK さんの方でエンジン作ったりとか、はい、もう何でもエンジンが乗ってれば HK ス関わるみたいなそうですねええーはい、すげえすごい早かったらしいですねすごい早かったらしいです,です、ね、僕も生まれてない時代はいはいはい<笑> Yeah, and a lot of you probably know、um, HKS from their D1 days too, where、uh, Taniguchi drove that、uh, beautiful red S15. I mean, that was a pretty sure it came to shock to a lot of people where the car just came out and performed and outperformed a lot of cars. So that's pretty awesome. So much history、um, in the Japanese、uh, tuning car、um, environment. All right, so two other cars here that I wanted to show you. This was from the GT series in Japan. Now, GT500, called different before, but this is a Mercedes that was driving in that era. And I guess this vehicle right here, the Vectra, the Opel Vectra, this was in the JGTC series. So it was like the touring car Grand Prix, but it was a Japanese touring car. So that was back in the days where it was pretty cool because. It was like a gang of four doors, and they were all, I think two, it had to be a two liter four cylinder or something. So I think there was like Nissan Primeras, Toyota, what was it, Coronas, then they came up with the JZX hundreds. And there's different manufacturers like Hondas, like Accords and stuff like that. But HKS actually、uh, built this car right here. Why did Opel make this car? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yes, it's cool. すげえいいよねもうもっとこのこういう車作ってほしいねこのフェンダーの高さが低いいいよこれアーチ高いねアーチ高いのいいよねえあじゃあこれもオペルのエンジンってことこれもオペルのエンジンエンジン低くすごい So this is the heart of the JGTC car that used to drive in the Touring Grand Prix in Japan but、um, yeah you have a lot of the high tech stuff And think about this. This is like mid 90s、uh, that this car was built. There's a lot of carbon parts, a lot of one off parts、um, put into it. And also, just looking at this from the top of the engine bay, you can't tell, but I mean, the engine is sitting so low. And I bet the tranny and the axles are like probably pretty much straight,、uh, matching the car being this low, too. This would be a cool street car. <laughs> <laughs> 
ルバードがすごい。いや、that's pretty cool. It's got... あれ、これエアジャッキ付きだね。エアジャッキ付き。that's pretty cool. The cage is built. I mean, it's pretty much、good. All right, another cool vehicle right here. It's like full carbon or something. It's an Alteza IS300. And this is pretty much a similar design to like a GT car where the engine is sitting so low, the wheels are tubbed. And check out the suspension they have. If, you're, if you know about cars, you know how cool this is. We had different regulations for you know, drift series and stuff like that. It would get way too crazy. And I think that's why they have tech. But Like cars like this, it's cool. That's what the rear suspension looks like, too. So, I mean, this is way far beyond being stock. All right, came to see some treasure cars that are parked in the parking lot. Like I said, the guys in HKS, a lot of the guys like cars. Damn, that is one clean JZX. What is this? It's a bit of a little 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 bit of a でなんかいいねあのサイドステップとか純正でフロントリップが何これ社外これアミューズあー<笑> This is the R32 I mean it's got some you know body you know I mean it's an old car you know I'm, it's not like I'm gonna pop the hood or anything but I guess it's like there's a lot done to it and he was talking about this probably has like an RB26 or something in it so That's pretty crazy. All right, so you got WRX. Everybody likes WRXs, and this is a little K car, the Lappin. They're like a turbo. They got the turbo model and stuff like that. But right here, this is like a brand new A class. So everybody, make sure you come and try to get a job at HKS because <laughs> they treat you well. No. <laughs> and also, R33 GTR. Everybody likes these GTRs, but I mean, talk about the price going up now. I mean, this is almost stock. That's pretty amazing. This is a, it's actually a rear wheel drive K car,、um, Daihatsu Terios Kid, I believe. But the paint job, I hope you can see this, it's got flakes. And I guess they said the, the, the diff is locked. <laughs> so I don't know if they go off roading or what, but kind of interesting to see. They got another Alteza. Are they going to be a damper? 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 <laughs> yep, and he has a bridge seat in it. He didn't bring his key, so I'm not gonna open it up. But everybody loves R34s. Yep, I mean, eh, it's a good kid. Come on, yeah, why don't I say this? Yeah, what? Just wait, 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 just wait. All right, I'd have to say, too bad. Uh, Mount Fuji, well, actually. Mount Fuji's right there, you can see a little bit of it, but yeah, this is a cool facility. Yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you. And of course, I will be back again someday、uh, if they have new cars here. So,、um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button if you did like it. And I would like to once again thank you, HKS, and I'll be back. And until I see you guys next time, peace out.